How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my Reaper tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you navigation and zooming in Reaper. Now you probably already realized if you want to zoom into anything in Reaper, you're going to want to do it with your mouse wheel. If you don't have a mouse with a wheel on it, I really recommend getting one. It just makes zooming and scrolling and even fader rides so much easier in Reaper. So let's use the mouse wheel to zoom in horizontally. Just click an area you want to zoom into, turn the mouse wheel up, and it zooms in as far as you want to go. Turn the wheel the opposite way, back down, and it zooms back out, horizontally. Now you can also zoom vertically in Reaper, which will make the tracks bigger or smaller. On the PC, hold down Control. On the Mac, hold down Command, and use the mouse wheel. The tracks get bigger and smaller, depending on which way you move the wheel. Up is bigger, and down is smaller. So without that modifier key, you could zoom in horizontally, and with the modifier key, you could zoom in and out vertically. Now you can also use key commands to zoom if you don't like using the mouse wheel. To zoom in and out horizontally, use the plus and minus keys on your numerical keyboard. Zoom in by plus, zoom out by hitting minus, and you can hold it down too. In, back out. Now, if you want to use the key commands to zoom in and out vertically, use the page up and page down buttons. Page up and page down. And again, you can hold it. You can also toggle your track heights using key commands. If you look at your keyboard, right above the tab key, next to the number one, is a squiggle key. If you hit that key, all your tracks get minimized. Their height gets as small as possible. Hit that key again, and it goes back to normal. And you can also maximize them, make the track heights as big as possible. Just add shift to that key command. So instead of hitting squiggle, hit shift squiggle. Shift squiggle, your tracks get as big as possible. In fact, one track fits your entire window. Hit it again, shift squiggle, it goes back to normal. And you can also expand selected track heights and minimize others. So if I select this bass track, hit the exclamation point key right here, hold on shift and hit number one, and the bass track gets bigger, and all the other tracks get as small as possible. Hit it again, it goes back to normal. If you select two tracks, those two tracks get bigger, everything else gets minimized. Hit it again, it goes back to normal. Now there's also a key command if you want to zoom out to the full size of your project. So if you happen to be zoomed in all the way like this, you want to zoom out to the full project, on the PC hold down Control, on the Mac hold down Command, and hit Page Down, the entire session fits in your window. So scroll up, you see? Session ends around here. So if you happen to be zoomed all the way in, Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, page down, zooms out to the size of the project. And that's horizontally only. You can also zoom to time selection. So if you select an area, say from here to here, and you want that entire selection to fill up your window, again horizontally, Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, and hit plus. And that makes your selection the entire window. So let me zoom out again. Let's say I zoom right here, from here to here, and I want to make this my entire window. Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, and hit plus. And your selection is now the entire window. Now how your zooming behaves depends on a couple of preferences. Let's open the preference window, and let's choose editing behavior. And there's two choices here, vertical zoom center and horizontal zoom center. Let's work on vertical zoom center first. First choice is track at center of view. Click that. Now the track at the center of view, right now will be base, will stay at the center no matter what. So if I vertically zoom in, base stays there. Let me scroll up a little bit. Tom 1 is now in the center. So if I zoom in vertically, Tom 1 still stays in the center. It's always in view. So the track closest to the center always stays in view. The next option is top visible track. If you choose this, the track at the top will stay at the top no matter what. So if I zoom in vertically, the overhead left stays at the top. Same thing when you make it smaller. The top track always stays there. You find a different track, 
Let's say we want to use base at the top. Now if I zoom in vertically, no matter what, that base track stays at the top. So that's how that option works. Next choice is last selected track. If you click that, if you select the track, that track will always be in view. Base amp. Let's select the room track instead. Zoom in. Room is always there. The next option is track under mouse cursor. So if you hold your mouse cursor under the base distorted track here, that track will always be in focus. Vertically zoom in. Still there. Put the mouse on the base. Same thing. Put it on the guitar one. Guitar one's always visible. So those are the options for vertical zoom center. Now let's check out horizontal zoom center. First choice is edit cursor or play cursor. Let me zoom back down a little bit. So when I'm zooming out like this, using the mouse wheel, it's always going to center the play cursor. So if I click over here, this always stays in focus. This is where it's zooming from, or to. The next option is center of view. So regardless of where your play cursor is, the center of view will always stay in the center. As I zoom in, the center of view zoomed in. And let's say I put 17 in the center of view, 17 will always be in view. So the center of your screen is the point of zooming. And the next option is your mouse cursor. This one's kind of cool because it has nothing to do with your play cursor. You can have your play cursor over here and your mouse cursor over here, and it's going to zoom based on your mouse cursor. So you can keep moving your mouse cursor around, and that's where it's going to zoom. Over here, over here. You don't actually have to click anywhere. Just move your mouse somewhere. It'll zoom there. So I kind of like that one. So I'm going to leave it at mouse cursor and last select the track. This way I can select the track, vertically zoom in. That track always stays in focus. Move the mouse around and zoom in horizontally. And my mouse always stays in focus. That's just the way I prefer it. And you can also zoom horizontally and vertically at the same time. You just have to create a custom action. So let's go to the actions menu. Choose show action list. On the custom actions, hit new. And on the filter, type in zoom. This will just show the zoom actions. So now we can just drag these over. Zoom horizontally. Zoom vertically. So now this custom action will zoom horizontally and vertically at the same time. We'll give it a name. Zoom both. Hit OK. Now we can assign a keyboard shortcut for that action. Hit Add. On the PC, it's going to be Alt-Shift. On the Mac, it's going to be Option-Shift. And then the mouse wheel. Move it, and it shows up there. Hit OK. Close this. So now if I hit that key command, it's going to zoom horizontally and vertically at the same time. So on the PC, it's Alt-Shift. On the Mac, it's Option-Shift. And of course, you could change this to whatever you want to use. And just move the mouse wheel. Gets bigger, vertically and horizontally. Smaller, vertically and horizontally. Select an area. Zoom right in. And then zoom back out. We can also adjust our peak waveforms if we want. Let me scroll up a little bit. This tom track here, tom 2, isn't very loud, so the peaks are harder to see than the other ones. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's say I wanted this peak right here to be a little bit bigger, so I could see it easier, so I could find the beginning of it. Hold down Shift, and use the arrows up and down to adjust that. So if I go Shift up, peaks go all the way up. Makes it easy to see the beginning of this note, and then back down if I want it to be normal again. You can hit it multiple times, or you can just hold it, and back down. Now besides zooming with the mouse wheel, we can also scroll with it. We just have to add some modifiers. So without a modifier, 
it zooms horizontal, like I showed you before. If you add control on the PC or command on the Mac, it zooms vertically, as I showed you before. If you use shift and the mouse wheel, it scrolls left and right, to the left and to the right. And if you hold down control alt on the PC or command option on the Mac, it scrolls up and down, like this, down, up. Side to side is shift, control alt on the PC or command option on the Mac is up and down. And like zooming, you also have key commands for scrolling. On the PC, it's Alt. On the Mac, it's Option. And you're going to use these arrow keys right here. So let me get a little bit closer. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. Use the left arrow to move left. The right arrow to move right. The up arrow to move up. And the down arrow to move down. So you can use the wheel or you can use buttons. Whatever you prefer. So if you combine that with the key command I showed you earlier, remember shift squiggle, I'll choose the base, shift squiggle, shows the entire track vertically. Now I can do alt on the PC or option on the Mac and go up. You can see up a track one at a time or down to scroll track by track while seeing the track in full size. Pretty cool. There's one other way to work your way around projects in addition to zooming and scrolling. And that's using the navigator. Go to view, choose navigator. This pops up. Now it can be docked or not. It can be its own special window. I'm gonna leave it docked. So basically this is your entire project. If you look at the little square here, that represents what you're actually viewing here. So if you move it around, you're basically scrolling around in your project to the back, to the bottom, to the left, to the top again. So you can scroll through your entire project right from the navigator window. But the way it really gets powerful is if you draw your own square or lasso. So if you right click and make a square, say right here, decides what you see in the window above. So if you make the square bigger, you'll see a lot more of the track. If you make it smaller, you'll see less of it, but bigger. Same with up and down. Make a lasso this big. Tracks are all very small. If you make it real tiny, each track is very big. So by lassoing, you can decide exactly what you see. You want to see almost everything, make it really big. If you want to see a very small amount, right here, you just see a very small amount. Like that. And then you can just grab the square and move it around. So essentially, you could scroll and zoom both horizontally and vertically in the navigation window. So that's pretty much it. That's navigation and zooming and scrolling in Reaper. I hope you learned something in this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.